Once you've completed all 10 nails and you come back to your first nail, it's time to do a light filing. As you can see, the shape is primarily there. All we want to do at this point is smooth it out. So I'm going to make sure that the skin is not attached in any way. Just give it a nice little pull, separating the product if there is any touching the skin. And then I'm going to first file my sides, making sure that they're coming straight out from the side. And then I'm just going to take my file and give it a light filing just to make sure that I don't have any irregularities in the nail surface. And you'll be able to tell the irregularities right away because as you're filing, you'll see the shiny spots peeking through. Whenever you have a shiny spot peeking through, it's telling you that that's a little valley and you just want to file that out. So I'm going to blend down to my cuticle very lightly, very minimal filing on this particular product. Blending the tip, making sure that we don't have any dips. Once that is done, I can come in once again with my buffing block and I'm just going to refine that surface a little bit. Then I can come in with my glossy nails buffer and on the buffers you want to use your dark green side first and then go to your light side. So I'm going to take that and just gently come over to the nail and you'll see that the, the shine reappears very rapidly with this block. This block is so versatile. You can use it on natural nails. You can use it, uh, men, when they come in for a manicure and they want their nails buffed, you can get that high shine very, very rapidly with that. Um, anybody, any type of acrylic product, you can bring it up to that nice natural shine. Once you have buffed the nail back to the shine, you're going to take a little bit of cuticle oil, place it onto the nail around the cuticle and massage that in. This is going to rehydrate the nail. It's also going to neutralize any chemical that might have landed on the skin. For instance, if our activator got on the skin, it will neutralize that so that that product is not going to cause any skin damage. Once you're done, you can remove the oil, have your clients go wash their hands, and then polish that nail or a top coat as needed.